This figure shows us the full range of leadership model. Basically, this theory says leaders use a full range of leadership behaviors to make things happen in their organizations. They use transactional leadership to reward and correct people's behavior. And then they build upon this and use transformational behaviors as well to be able to produce more and accomplish more than leaders who use only transactional behaviors. The figure also shows us that transactional and transformational behaviors vary in the extent to which they are active versus passive and effective versus ineffective. Before I describe the transformational leadership behaviors, I want to take a second to describe some of these other types of leadership that you see here in the image. Laissez-faire behaviors are the most passive and the least effective. These leaders avoid their responsibilities, they avoid making decisions, and they show little concern for their followers' well-being. Transactional leaders guide their followers toward goals by clarifying the roles and the task requirements. They usually use one or more of these three approaches passive and active management by exception, as well as contingent reward. Passive management by exception is when the leader corrects behavior only after a mistake is made. There is no effort to prevent more mistakes. It is the least effective of the transactional behaviors. Active management by exception involves searching for things that might lead to mistakes in the future and fixing them before mistakes actually happen. So it's slightly more effective than the previous two categories. Contingent reward is slightly more effective and active than the other transactional behaviors. Contingent reward behaviors include rewarding people for a job well done. The employee exchanges their effort and their compliance for rewards and payment. Using transactional leadership behaviors will get some leaders across the finish line. They will reach their goals in some instances. However, if a leader wants to go above and beyond, if a leader wants to exceed expectations and accomplish way more than they thought they ever could, they would want to use transformational leadership behaviors. Transformational leaders are just that, transformational. They change people and their organizations for the better. That is what sets transformational leaders apart from the other types of leaders. Now keep in mind that transformational leaders use a lot of the behaviors and strategies that we've talked about so far, but they also use these four other categories of behaviors that we haven't necessarily covered. Transformational leaders use idealized influence to communicate a meaningful vision, much like charismatic leaders do. They get followers excited about the vision and they use communication to gain their followers' trust and respect. They also use inspirational motivation. They do this by establishing high standards of performance. They expect their followers to reach for the stars just as they are trying to do for the whole organization. They then enforce these expectations using transactional behaviors. Working for a transformational leader is awesome. It can be a lot of fun, but it's also serious business. Transformational leaders also rely on what we call intellectual stimulation. That is, they encourage people to learn new knowledge and develop new skills. They create a culture of creativity and innovation and they challenge the traditional way of doing things. They do this, of course, with respect and with their followers' input, bringing us to the fourth and final characteristic of transformational leaders, individualized consideration. These types of leaders pay special attention to each and every single one of their followers, and they treat them as individuals. They mentor and coach them, and they tailor their approach to meet each person's needs. 
Now, you might be thinking of a large organization and wondering how a transformational leader might give special attention to 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 employees. What a transformational leader will do is surround themselves with an awesome team. They will develop that team. They will train that team. They will coach that team. They will turn that team into a powerhouse. And then they send each individual member in that team out into the organization asking that new leader, that new transformational leader to use the same behaviors, the same strategies and replicate the process. A transformational leader may start out as the only transformational leader in an organization. If they play their cards right, in the end, more and more people in that organization will also become a transformational leader. Together, these four groups of behaviors make up transformational leadership and explain what makes them so unique and influential. So why do transformational behaviors lead people to go above and beyond the call of duty? Many studies suggest that these behaviors fulfill followers' needs for things like autonomy and competence. So think back to self-determination theory from a few weeks ago. People have various needs and a transformational leader is essentially fulfilling all of those needs in a variety of different ways. Transformational leaders also tend to increase their followers' intrinsic motivation. They also focus on self-efficacy, on getting people to feel confident and secure in their ability to do a job. They want people to do the job because it's important to them and, and because they, they want to do the job, not because they have to do the job. Transformational leaders establish trust with their followers. We all know how important trust is to relationships, including the relationship between a leader and a follower. And finally, they challenge traditional ways of thinking, just as a devil's advocate might do and they build consensus among their followers so that everyone supports the decision. 